The Defence Minister has announced more Australian troops and American Marines will be based in Darwin as the government shifts its strategic focus to the north. Richard Miles confirmed almost $4 billion will be spent upgrading defence bases across northern Australia. All roads led north after the government's defence strategic review was released this week. This is a transformational moment for our nation. The Defence Minister was in the top end to announce $3.8 billion to harden defence bases across northern Australia. This is really just the start of an effort in accelerating the development of our northern bases so that they can be uh, a better place for our defence forces to operate from. However, the future of one asset remains a mystery. The review into the Port of Darwin has its own process, so we will be awaiting the outcome of that review. $2 billion has been allocated for upgrades at air bases, including at Learmouth in Western Australia and the Darwin and Tyndall bases in the Northern Territory. Work has already begun at Tyndall, so the base can accommodate B-52 bombers from the United States. $1 billion will be spent on upgrades to land and joint estate capabilities, while $600 million has been allocated for naval bases, including the HMAS Coonawarra here in Darwin. All of this is critically important to placing a focus on our northern bases. Today's announcement focused on infrastructure, but Northern Territory Labor politicians have long complained the troops have been taken from Darwin and sent south. The Minister says that is about to change. It is fundamentally important that we have the footprint here. But I think what you're also going to see um, is um, a, a, a continual growth of the marine rotation that's happening here. The city where Australian and US forces battled a foreign enemy more than 80 years ago is again at the centre of our nation's defence. Matt Cunningham, Sky News, Darwin.